Hi everyone and welcome to another video. We do hope you're really well. Today's video is part number three of our four part series on our winter fishing. This year we didn't post every single week or every single time we went fishing just because life really got in the way unfortunately. But what we've done is we've put a four part special together for you of all our all our sessions all together. Uh, so we do hope you like it and so without further ado here's part three. Hi everyone, so we're fishing again, this time at uh, Otter's Pool. Just give you a 360. So my dad's just in the van there, making a cup of tea for us, and uh, hopefully a cake. Rods are in the water. Not got my wind mic on at the moment, so apologies if there's a bit of a breeze. Oh, I've got one rod out there, and my dad's got one, and I've got another rod out there as well. Both just with uh, both with fresh lugworm on them. Quite a good worm actually today, to be honest. There was a tiny knock on mine before, I think it might have been a whited, possibly even a crab, been very mild. We are hoping for uh, the elusive cod. We've probably not been fishing uh, in the spots that we like to fish for cod as much as we'd like to this winter but we wanted to try a few different venues that we've never tried before so uh, I think we've got some might see some today all right as ever I'll uh, come back to you if we get anything well there you go everyone can't disappoint you brew and a cake sort of lemon buns <laughs> got from the shop any good Mm. Yeah. Lemon curd in time. Nice. I'll just get stuck into mine now. <laughs>
It's a little white in there. Quite busy at the back of me, so you might be able to hear people, you might not. Anyway, let's get it back. to some guys over there and they've uh, we were fishing last night and they had rocklin dabs and whiting so a bit of the uh, same old same old for this side of things but fingers crossed you never know got to be in it to win it they might find a unicorn might find a, a cod or a codlin here you never know that's the aim anyway so just before that we're having some butties and a brew what have we got for cake Oh, Miss Gherkin there. All right, Victoria Sponge. Mm -hmm. Lovely jubbly. All right, so we'll get these eaten and uh, we'll hopefully catch you fishing. So we've both just opened our account with a uh, a white in a piece. I'll just try and show you this uh, this rod here because it's going crazy with the going crazy with the white in. It's not going to do it now, is it? Anyway, we're getting. Uh, it's probably not going to do it now that I've. Uh, on it now <laughs> anyway so we're getting hammered by these whiting i should imagine it's going to be a bit of a whiting fest but in between fingers crossed there's going to be uh, some decent fish you just never know so we'll get fishing and i'll get back to you if we get anything else
Right everyone, so it is a white infest already and we've got three to show you in this bucket. The biggest one being that big <laughs> and they're all just a tiny bit smaller than that. We'll see if we can get you anything else. Right everyone, so I thought I'd show you this rocklin. It's quite a big one really. I'll get it measured up and I'll uh, I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it just there for you. But yeah, it's a uh, decent size uh, decent size rocklin. Anyway, it's getting back. Right everyone, it is an absolute white infest today. I'll just show you in this bucket in the last half an hour pretty much. Nothing but whiting. Absolutely tons of them. I've kept them in there. I kept them in there to recover. And I was gonna show you them all individually, but uh, we'll just say Yeah, definitely more than seven in there, so I'll just go and get them back now. that long of a night <laughs> right anyway so uh, that's that session done with um white infest I think is uh, is what we call it what do you think definitely yeah. <laughs> must have had about 20 whiting in the end um, some decent sized ones so um, obviously quite alright we're catching them we quite like that um, far from a blank as well so quite enjoyable it's just that uh, we're looking for that uh, codling aren't we so um, I think maybe next time we might do a stopover somewhere maybe a winter stopover Possible. Um, we're thinking of uh, installing a diesel heater 
into the uh, van. So if we do that, we'll get ourselves on a, uh, a winter session somewhere on an overnighter for you. Um, but we're definitely going to fish over the river. Otters Pool, uh, Britannia inside, that way on with Columbus Key perhaps. Um, we've just not been able to fish it recently with the wind. It's not been very comfortable to fish over that end, but uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Anyway, that's us done. So until next time, we'll see you later. Hi everyone and welcome back. We do hope you enjoyed the video. I'll just go through with you now on the maps, the different locations that we went. As you can see, this is the River Mersey just here, and the two locations we fished in this video were here at Vale Park and here at the Britannia Inn. As you can see, this is the Britannia Inn, and this is the location we fished. So just there, and we were casting our lines out there. It is a fantastic venue for lots of different reasons, uh, one of the reasons we like to fish it is this incline here when or if you do get a uh, big fish you can easily pull it up there without uh, having to use your drop net or breaking any lines another fantastic benefit of this location is obviously the parking as well there is plenty of parking on this car park and the uh, the inn themselves they don't mind you using it as with a lot of areas on the Mersey, this area too can be snaggy. Obviously, it shows it there with the weed and the rubble. Uh, just obviously use your uh, initiative and try to uh, minimise your tackle loss. If you are fishing this location at night, they can sometimes close this car park here. There is plenty of parking on the road here and on this huge car park here as well. So I'll just start here for you at Vale Park. As you can see, this is the road sort of in, and it's called Magazine Lane. We just parked our van just there as it was quiet as we was fishing at night. Uh, you usually can park on this lane here. There are parking spots all the way along here as well if it is busy. Uh, just obviously don't uh, block anybody's drive. Again, it is a really good location for fishing. Um, there's all manner of species can be caught here in the winter and the summer. We just fished here off this slipway and as you can see it's not uh, too far of a throw and you're onto some nice clean ground. Uh, this, is, this is the area that we primarily fish. We always feel like the rocks will trap a lot of uh, food in there for fish so that's why we fished that little spot. This venue can be fished at high water or low water, but if you're going to fish it at low water, please be careful as there are gullies that will fill in behind you. I'll just give you a 360 of this little fishing spot. I'll just stop it there. As you can see, this would be the low tide mark here. It's a good walk between the and the, and as you can see, there are lots of areas that can backfill as the tide's coming in on you. So just be very careful when fishing this at low water. Well, that's about it for this video. And thanks for watching once again. This is part three of four of our winters fishing. I'll put a link in the description to the other videos for you. We do hope you like the video. Uh, do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to and hit the bell notification icon and you'll be notified of our latest videos as well we do hope you like this video and our other videos on the channel so do check them out and until next time i'll see you later